Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Emily Younger. And I'm Jeff Herndon. Big win for Kansas today. Thousands of jobs and billions of dollars coming to the state. Panasonic announcing it will build a massive battery facility in the KC area. Okay, since Craig Andrus joins us now to explain how it got here and what it means for the state. Craig? You know, both Democrat and Republican lawmakers have been working this deal for a long time quietly and behind the scenes, hopeful to land Panasonic to build batteries for that electric vehicle market. Today's the big splash in Topeka to say, we got it. And result in $4 billion of investment. That's $4 billion with a B. Governor Kelly kicking off the big $4 billion deal coming to Kansas. This is a significant victory for every community and every citizen of our state. Federal lawmakers jumping in on a project in the works for a long time. State lawmakers say it was a big effort with part of the win coming from both Democrats and Republicans working to get this deal done. And we were able to get it passed through a bipartisan heavy lift. Stephanie Clayton from the KC area says incentives never easy to pass, especially with all the secrecy surrounding this deal. There was a need to keep it quiet so another state wouldn't take it away. And to just trust those of us who knew, uh, you know, that's a huge, huge deal. And I think that it has paid off big time for the entire state. At the end of the day, the big battery plant for electric vehicles is on the way to Kansas. So we don't know yet exactly when construction officially begins. It's estimated the battery plant will employ 4,000 and support another 4,000 subcontractor jobs in Kansas. Here for you, Craig Andrus, KSN News 3.